Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Violet and today's video is going to be on Soma Part 3 Gameplay. So, we are in Delta. Here in Delta, there are no monsters to be worried about. This is mostly pretty much solving a puzzle, getting coordinates, calling a zeppelin, stuff like that. So, if you stick around, I'll show you exactly how to do that. So from the crash site, you're going to turn around and go towards this building. Is it a submersible? Is it a tower? I don't know, but you go in through this hatch. So we climb that ladder, get up in there, and we're going to find a couple of important things. First and foremost is that thing that he likes to jam his fist in. I don't know why. It's weird, but cool. Next is our map, which is right here. So, you don't totally need to memorize it, but it has like two slides, take a look at it, get familiar with it, because we need to visit almost all of the sites. Coming talking to Komorebi, let's see some pictures. I really haven't figured out what these pictures mean. I mean, it's kind of right in your face, but I still don't get it. If you have any insight, leave it in the comments. Just, you know, for shits and giggles. I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is Acres and him escaping in a zeppelin, because you can obviously see somebody calling in a zeppelin and they're escaping, and we'll find out more about Acres here in a bit. So if you need to refer to your map, please do so, but we're heading over to the comms antenna, which is also building 2. It has like a big zero two 2 on it. So this is pretty much towards the left, if I remember correctly, but I went through like sightseeing and all this stuff, so zero two. 2 Go around, we open the door, we shut the door, we let the water out. I sped this, mud, this up a little bit. So, there's really nothing in here except insight. So you can read a few things, there's writing on the wall, there's blood on the floor, there's stuff crawling in the blood, there's just a, just a bunch of stuff you can pick up. Nothing of actual, real importance to solve the puzzle, but it just gives you insight on Acre's madness. So, moving on to the control room. This is the room where your little robot friend helps you open the door. In here, again, nothing of importance except, here, here it comes, a dead guy. <laughs> you saw that, right? You saw Akers fucking injecting that shit into them? He got me pretty bad. I think I'm even worse pulling away. I, I can feel it bleeding out. Can you see him? towards the central computer near the landing pad. And we're gonna push the power on that bright ass button that I completely missed a couple of days ago for like three hours. We're going to antenna and we're gonna pretty much see that there are several, well three, zeppelins that we can kinda ping point here on the map. If you go into radio, there's a couple of things that you can hear. Um, if you press each of these buttons, it gives you some audio. And then there's request transport. So that's going to be pretty important. But we have to choose the right Zeppelin. And we'll get to that. Going back to check on the Zeppelins, there's already one in Thedo, 
that should be the one that Akers took from Delta to Theta. So you kind of have to figure out which one to call. So now that we know this information, we're going back to the comms antenna, and there's a computer right outside, which we're coming up on right now. This is what we're going to use to establish a signal. Using the right and left arrows and pushing the numbers, we come up on number 5 that establishes a signal to Zeppelin 049. Now we can go back to the central computer and request a transport to Zeppelin 049 to come to this landing pad. Transport active. Unspecified cargo. Well, Zeppelin's on its way. Gotta get ready. then you took your time to sightsee, explore, and gather all the clues that you need to know what robot we're about to mug for his chip. Everything keeps moving and we're heading from Delta to Theta. There's pretty much a bunch of banter between Simon and Catherine. So let me take this time to fail to fail you, girl. Once we get to Theta, Simon finds a sadly pathetic robot that he chit-chats for a solid two minutes, it seems like, and you kind of feel sorry for her, but she does give you a lot of good insight on Catherine and who Catherine was and what she was doing. So it gets pretty interesting. He also finds a couple of radio comms that have recordings of other people working on this project. So there's a little bit more gameplay, a little bit more of like what to expect, how to open a door once you get to Theta, which I think is important, so stick around. So if you have
haven't caught on, Simon and Catherine are going to have a deep conversation about their existential crisis. Well, Simon's existential crisis, for sure. How he can't really wrap his head around, you know, what's happening. But it's cool, he gets to talk it out. But what I really wanted to say is, for some reason, is that Catherine mentioned the Mariana Trench. And I was like, wait a minute. A few days ago, I went to the movies and I saw this movie that was out in theaters with that girl with no facial expressions that was in the Twilight series. And it's called Underwater, so I'll put some pics up here for reference. So, in watching that movie, I was like, wait a minute, this looks just like Soma, WTH. It had a very similar feel in the sense that they were working in the Mariana Trench in the name of science to figure out, I don't remember what, but they get attacked, something goes wrong, and they get attacked by a bunch of monsters, and it's kind of crazy, it has a bit of a Cthulhu thing to it too. It's like I want to recommend it, but I also don't want to recommend it, so wait for it to come out on Redbox. <laughs> I think it'd be a pretty cool Redbox type of night to go check that movie out, because it wasn't that bad. It wasn't, the end wasn't that great, but I'd watch it again. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. It's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside Theta, okay? See you soon. Amazing. 
thing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. See you later. Will do. I'll be going now. Let me know if you find anyone else. You good? I think so. I feel fine. where yet again I ran into some trouble. I couldn't figure out the levers. It was kind of difficult. I'm not sure why, but I couldn't figure it out. And I kind of gave up and I left. I can't tell if this is it. I give it another go. I mean, what do I have to lose? Nothing but time, really. But yet again, I didn't get it and I left. After that, I decided I'd go sightseeing and take in all the beautiful and gorgeous barnacle covered sights. <laughs> yeah. Well, turns out that there's absolutely nothing. Or maybe I missed something. I'm actually pretty good at missing stuff, obviously. Once I was done with that, I came back with absolute determination that I was going to get it open this time. And there we go. All I had to do was turn it a bit, push it back in, pull the lever down. And that's really all you got to do. And then you push the button, and then the door's open. Oh, absolutely well, friends, that is it for this video. That is how you get from Delta to Theta and in the building. Because that dang opening that door gave me so much trouble, as you saw. Um, thanks for sticking around. If this video helped you, if it was entertaining at all, if you learned something, hit that like button. If you haven't done already, hit subscribe for more videos. Um, part four is going to be scary. I kept playing for about another hour, I was searching, and it turns out that there's a lot of noises behind some of the doors, Hello? and Anyone it looks there? like Theta's gonna have a lot of enemies, so I stopped playing because I got scared. <laughs> One day, hopefully next week, I'll build up some courage, and I'll get you part four gameplay. Well, alright, that is it for today, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you on the next video.